from Australia, the country that's on fire. I'm back. I'm playing Pokemon Sword. We're starting off this episode with a surprise trade. I'm going to give away Gog. So we're putting Gog up for adoption. And you can see in the bottom left, when that pays off and it goes to someone, we will receive a mystery trade from anywhere else in the world. And we're about to run into Sonya. Looks like my Yampa really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other a good, at a good time. You know the mural here in Stow on Side? It's said to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. The what the way we have a kick. Well, I have sell kelk, sell prepos, pay a gas. Ah! Okay, that scared me, boys. What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the runes. I, I also didn't notice that the corgi has a heart shape on its ass. Was that a thing before? Surely that'd be a big thing that people would be talking about. So we've just defeated the fighting gym up here in this cool cliffside town. And now something's occurring up here at the mural. And there was a little hole in the wall, so I'm assuming something's broken through or something's about to break through. BD? Destroy it! Destroy it all! We're going to find those wishing stars! Rush! Oh, he's getting desperate. Mmm, anyone else just drinking from a big bottle of milk? White people. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to, if we want to please him. So it sounds like there is some sort of ancient cultural forbidden cave through the runes here and BD just doesn't give a flying shit. He's gone straight through. So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see. So you do have some cunning in you. I think he is uh, a bit mentally deranged, old BD. He's not all there. I think he has schizophrenia. Ooh, a little stylish move with spinning the ball on his finger and tossing it to his other hand. I like that. All right. Who is Deucian? Oh, that's the evolution of the little cell Pokemon. Nothing too new. Straight into battle. Good start. What type is he? I'm going to give him a nice tar shot. Ugh. Now he's weaker to fire. He's putting up a light defense. And now I'm going to use Flame Charge, which is powered up. Okay, goodbye, Cell Pokemon. You are no match for my gigantic, colossal coal Pokemon. I'm leveling up Coleman a bit at the moment. Craig's almost level 40. He's sending out his big titty goth GF Pokemon. Here he comes, Gotharita. Nope, it's not the big titty goth one yet. That's the middle one. All right, what happens if we just go straight for a Flame Charge? I'm getting faster as the battle goes. Okay, yep, that's not... All right, let's judge this. So that does that much damage. It's pretending to cry. That's not going to save you. I am going to remove all 206 bones from your body. I'm talking about BD, that is. So now let's do Tar Shot. Shut the f up, BD. You see the way he's looking at me? Smug bastard. All right, now we're going to do Flame Charge and we're going to see the difference. Okay, a little bit, a little bit of difference. So when I do the Tar Shot, does it turn... There, does it make them weak specifically to fire? Does it, is fire always going to be super effective against them after I use Tar Shot? All right, we're going to move on to Puff Puff, who needs a bit of XP, only a level 33. Hopefully he doesn't die straight away. Come on, my little apple dragon son. Hit him with Grav Apple. The, tr the, the move where an apple falls from a tree onto your head. Good, good. Flapple is strong. Flapple's big. Flapple's getting bigger. Level 34. BD is about to send out Hatram. Oh, right. The weird uh, psychic squid fairy hat Pokemon. I'm going to use Dragon Pulse. Let's see what that does. All right. About half HP. Man, his Pokemon are pretty strong. Get some super effectives here. Let's go for acrobatics. This move is stronger if you're not holding an item, which I intentionally am not. Okay. God damn it. Flapple dead. Now I'm going to do something a little tedious here. I'm going to bring out Fred since I'm not actually wanting to train Fred. And then while Fred is out, I'm going to use a revive on... Co no, not on Coleman. I didn't want to do that. All right, Fred is dead. Oh, Nicholas. Another Pokemon that I'm not going to keep. With Nicholas, I'm going to revive Puff Puff, which is what I wanted to do originally. You're no match for me, BD. You're a little stronger than the gym leader, though, I think. It seems. And then I'm going to drop a fat super potion straight on Puff Puff. And then we will just wait for our sacrificial lamb, Nicholas, to bite the dust. He's still alive. Guess I'm just going to bide my time and use another super... No! Not on Nicholas! What am I doing? What am I doing? 
Let the fox die! Nicholas, I hate you now. You're not cool anymore. We started the game. You were my boy. But your mustache is stale and old. There's new and cooler Pokemon now. You're getting thrown out. I'm going to heal Coleman. And I'm going to let you die. I don't want to give you any XP. He's a thief. Go, Puff Puff. Soak up the experience, my little dragon boy. All right, here we go. Taking it all for himself. He should be... Oh, no. 940. Pretty good. I'm going to switch out to Craig because he's bringing out Ponita. Oh, shit. No. I forgot. Galarian Ponita is what? Fairy type? I was thinking Ponita fi equal fire. Ponita not equal fire. Ponita equal fairy floss. All right. Either way, Craig is a strong lizard. Oh, and we have Sucker Punch, which is super effective. Um, And it does even more damage as long as they intend to attack. Oh, so close. He's just hung in there. Yeah, that's not going to do much, mate. Goodbye. Is that his last Pokemon? Is that all you got, BD? Are you holding back? Honestly, pathetic. And he's about to just destroy some heritage enlisted town mural. Thanks, BD. Oh my god, he's furious. This has to be some kind of mistake! I demand a do-over! Shut up, BD. Shut up. But why? How can this be? How can someone like you get in my way? Why do you question this every time? You're out here looking for illegal star shards. Okay, the boys are showing up. The chairman's here. I'd like to see how he handles this. Did he actually want him to smash into that? With Gone mad with power? Looking for the approval of the chairman? I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's copper jar. Oh, that's not his elephant. That's the chairman's. I can't believe you'd try to use the chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site, you little shit. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon simple beam or something? What is he saying? What does that mean? Is that an attack? A simple beam? Is it turn you retarded? Is that what he's implying? Oh, the chairman has some intensity in his eyes. Look at him. Young BD, you have much to learn. It pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. I am revoking my endorsement. I hope he says that. Please take your endorsement back. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. A spoiled cunt. <laughs> That's why I sent you to a trainer's school to give you a chance at success. Ah, uh, but trying to destroy the mural, part of Galar's history, you show no love towards Galar. At least the chairman can see that BD is a little bastard. I thought he was going to back him up for a second. You are clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you return to Hammerlock. I think he's revoking his endorsement legit. Damn, that elephant is so thick. Look how square- Oh my god! BD's eyes are popping out of his head. But his coat do be kind of looking fresh, though. You must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge! But you're the one who endorsed me! Is it just me or have the elephant's tusks been trimmed for ivory? Has BD been doing that as well, huh? I bet he borrowed the elephant and he cut its tusks off to make himself a pair of copper jar tipped ivory shoes. Challenger BD, I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Oh, the goons are on him. They're going to break his legs. What an exciting start. Getting to see BD get punished. And it turns out the chairman isn't a total asshole. Although I still... I thought he was going to be the secret curveball bad guy. But it seems he has some morals. Ah, Sonya and wet bread too. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challenges for this sort of reason. Yet we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. All right. Thanks, Chairman. I, I reckon I could fit in that hole. I could just climb through there. You know, during one of BD's matches, I heard the announcer say that BD has no family. Oh! Wow, sick burn, Sonya. That is, okay. What is happening? They're going to think we did it now. Sonia, we're culprits! The chairman's gonna think we just smashed into the- Oh! Finally! It's the Sword and Shield boys, and there is the two- Did they get turned into Pokemon? Is that the law? Or were they just creatively interpreted as people when they're actually Pokemon? And that folklore has been passed down incorrectly. Oh no, they're behind the Pokemon, I see them. Okay, not a brilliant turn of events! But the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? Pokemon. A sword and shield. I'm gonna say Pokemon. Right! You're such a man of words. Wet bread. Pokemon. Alright, Sonya. Move out the way. I'm gonna summon the beasts. 
Anything else look interesting to you? The hero was actually two people. Oh, good observation. There is two people standing in there. There's two statues of two people. I never thought of it like that. Two people. I think Sonya was hit with a simple beam. I think Sonya should be in an institution with BD, of course. Uh, the sword is a Pokemon. The shield is a Pokemon. Uh, I'm playing sword. I guess I'll say the sword. Yes, it's the sword. Epic. <laughs> two young heroes. The sword and shield were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks, I'll give you a couple of these. So you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to Balonely. Baloney. You know how we in Australia we have, um, we've got the big ram and we have the big banana. We've got the big prawn. We've got the big pineapple. We've got the big potato. And who could forget Australia's big lobster? We have the giant koala. And now it's time for us to make a trip to the big baloney. But that is not funny. Guess you'll be headed to Bologna. Do people say Bologna? Some people say bologna instead of bologna when they're talking about the bologna. Sandwich meat. This is content, right? Anyway, we're heading to Bolonli Bolonlia. Ah, yes. Bolonlia. The fabled site of bologna. We've got two revives. And then finally the scene is over. Thank God. We still searching? I am connected to the internet. I'm just not getting any surprise trades. What do you think of that, big boy? Whoa, what's this? The hero is actually two people? And Pokemon? You got it right, Baldy. It's the statues that were hidden behind Stoneside's famous mural. They depict two heroes and two Pokemon. All right, Sonya, I'm heading over to the big baloney. I made a huge amount of money in the market. This guy just, just does not give a single fuck about the town being destroyed. Yeah, don't worry, bro. Just this precious artifact was just crumbled into pieces. I made money at the market. Fuck art. Yeah, I feel ya. I feel, I know the hustle, bro. Okay, our trade is completed. We're gonna see who we got from our wonder trade. Bye bye, Gog. Who, who's it gonna be? Oh, a rookie D. Awesome. Mm. Milk. I think now it's been a real day because I think it goes off the clock in your internal game clock. And I think you can just speed it up if you want. But this guy should have a different deal today. Uh, black Sludge for 3,000. I'm gonna cop. Always wanted the new Black Sludge. Big blob of Black Sludge, awesome. An item to be held by a Pokemon that gradually restores HP to poison type Pokemon. It damages any other type. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. I think even though he's dual type, that should work on Tyrone who has a magnet on him at the moment. We're gonna take that off and we're gonna head into the Pokemon Center. We're gonna heal our boys and we're gonna check the lottery. After I do another surprise trade, I'm gonna get rid of Hemi. I'm gonna heal the boys. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, dingy, ding. We're gonna play a lottery. I don't like poker jobs. Oh, use the card maker. We can make a special card, a new league card. Okay, cool. We haven't done this before. I guess it's about time. Do you collect cards? Can you get all sorts of different ones? I guess you do as the game goes on. Why would you want Leon as your background? Oh, this one's kind of cool. It's like a copper jar psychedelic background. We've got a big Diglett statue. We've got a chef. Have you seen chef? <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna just keep the chef for now. I'm gonna chuck some effects over it. Some flames, like the chef is sauteing some fish. Then we're gonna chuck a frame on the bottom. That looks honestly terrible. Can I not even change the my, the way my dude is stand? Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, hold on, hold the phone. I'm gonna go with Leon. Can I make him like sucking Leon's cock and balls? Is that a thing you can do? Oh, you can actually 3D turn the model, that's sick. I'm trying to make him grab Leon's cock. I'm kind of making car him karate chop it. Oh, this one looks like he's studying it. And then this one is going for the super grab. This is so unfunny, but I'm, oh, I can't even get him in the right spot. I can't flip him. We rotate him all the way this way. Oh, we can. Okay, awesome. There we go. Doesn't really work very well. I think the other one was better, but I'm getting bored now. So I'm gonna go with that. Oh, you can turn your card into a rare card. We can get a dot foil going on. Well, I am gonna pay for that. We need to get some stuff done. Let's check the lottery ID. 
and then we're gonna head into the forest and find some goblins. We've been saving up all these different one to trade Pokemon. So we have, was my number just 06969? And I didn't get a match. All right, let's head into the forest. We're literally going to find goblins. I'm so excited. The goblin Pokemon. I don't know what it's name. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Fuck. All right, here's the forest. I don't know what the goblin Pokemon's name is, but I think it's quite a popular one to use. It turns into like a really muscly one and a lot of people were using it. So just for that reason, I kind of want to maybe use something else. There he is. Look at him. Ooh, they run off like little actual goblins. Let's see if we can defeat it. Oh, okay. A Hatchroom in the wild. Let's see if we can actually catch any of these Pokemon now that I've got another gym badge. I was having trouble before. Let's go for a Smackdown. Let's go for another Smackdown. And then let's go for a Great Ball. Just like that, boys, we've got ourselves a Hatchroom. No, we don't. These Pokemon are so hard to catch. Uh, can we use a Dusk Ball? Does the forest count as a dark place? I feel like it does. It's pretty dark in here. Three shakes? Come on. Yes! Okay, Dusk Ball. I think that's effective. Sweet. That would be another one, uh, another good one to catch. It's a psychic Pokemon. I think it has, it evolves twice from its starting level. So it has three forms. Hatrim. No matter who you are, if you bring strong emotions near this Pokemon, it will silence you violently. I've actually read this before because it went semi-viral on this person's Twitter who was trying to cancel the Pokemon. Someone was legitimately being like, this fantasy 3D model in a children's game will beat the fuck out of you if you try to lean on it, if you want to, if you want to shoulder to cry on. If you try to tell it anything, you try to console in this Pokemon, you try to tell it how your day was, it will kill you. I'm just gonna call it murder. It was either that or domestic violence. I'm just gonna call it murder. Goodbye murder, you'll be sent to the box. I won't feel safe if I let you out. Yep, Team Yell is gone now. We can finally get in here and go goblin searching. We've got two full heals. We're gonna get into a battle with... Oh, it's Mr. Burns. I like your hat, Mr. Burns. Get in the ball, Mr. Burns. I'm gonna take you back to the power plant. Yeah, Dusk Balls are doing me good out here in the forest. I think they definitely work. The Illuminating Pokemon. It's flickering spores lure in prey and put them to sleep. Once this Pokemon has its prey snoozing, it drains their vitality with its fingertips. That also sounds like just murder with extra steps. I think I'm gonna call this one Joe. Do we have one called Joe already? Who's Joe? That's Joe. Oh, there's a Pokeball up this way. We're gonna grab that. What's it gonna be? It's a big root. Joe Root is a cricketer, I think. You guys like cricket? Who the fuck likes cricket? An item to be held by a Pokemon, it boosts the amount of HP the holder restores from uh, HP stealing moves. I don't think I have any HP stealing moves at the moment. We're gonna see what we get from our mystery stray trade. Throwing away Hemi. We got a Mimikyu. I think that's new. I don't think we've had a Mimikyu before. He's in a Premier Ball too. Awesome. Mimikyu. The disguise Pokemon. It wears a rag fashioned into a Pikachu costume in an effort to look less scary. Unfortunately, the costume only makes it creepier. What a fucking idiot. Okay, that's a dead end there. What's this Pokemon? <gasps> the teacup. The teacup was the one that I had trouble catching before. I think it's gonna do some big Darry. Get uh. We're just gonna start off with a straight up flame charge. Ooh, I think he's gonna do Giga Drain. If I just do another Flame Charge after Giga Drain, if I survive, he should be on a perfect amount of HP to capture. Yes, here, yeah, no, dead. It's dead. Two levels up, Tyrone and Coleman, looking good. Gary Coleman wants to learn Stealth Rock. I think Stealth Rock is a good competitive move, but I don't think we're gonna use it in this playthrough. Tyrone, leveling up to 37, epic. All right, who's this Pokemon? I've got to catch them all, boys. Hatcher him again. Bye-bye. No! No! Oh! What? What? It's healing me. What is happening? Wow. Okay, thank you so much. I think that Pokemon has a bad rap. Either that was some sort of trick, or whoever made that Pokedex entry has it all wrong. That's the nicest thing a wild Pokemon has ever done for me. It literally healed my Pokemon and it's got such a bad rap. All right, surprise trade. Who are we giving away this time? I reckon Joe. Gonna use a couple of Auron berries on Coleman, get his HP back up. I'm not gonna end up using any of those berries otherwise. And we're gonna verse Chef. Have you seen Chef? Yes, I have. He's right there. What is with the darkness? It's so dark out here. 
Hello, chef. Are you looking for mushrooms? Yes. They give off light when you touch them. Oh, that might be the key to navigating the dark forest. All right, let's turn this dude's Pokemon into mushrooms. Hey, there's the milk I was drinking earlier. Yeah, so Tarsha, it just makes... Whoever you use it on, it makes them weak to fire. So when I do Flame Charge, it'll literally just say, this was super effective. It's a pretty cool move combo. Goodbye, Milk. Goodbye, Mr. Bands. Mr. Bands got banned. And now Coleman is asleep. Creepy little Pokemon that little mushroom fucker is. Put me to sleep there at the end. You're lucky I was around. Level up for Fred. Don't care. Plus your mail. Cook Derek is about to send out Sinistee. Man, I wish I had a Sinistee. Yes, Coleman woke up. Yes, Coleman used Flame Charge. Coleman's pretty strong. He's doing work here. Goodbye, a small cup of tea. I will remember you. Level up for Nicholas and Puff Puff. All right, moving on. So, oh, we touched that mushroom on the wall. Like so. Is there more mushrooms that I can touch that are in this actual dark area? Let's catch this cup of tea. I need to get the cup of tea. I have the item to evolve it. I've got to get it. Let's see if we do Tar Shot and Flame Charge. If that's gonna... No! So strong! Who would have thought this, the 9 foot, 600 ton colossal coal Pokemon was too strong? I'm gonna get that cup of tea if it's the last thing I do. There's another mushroom. What happens with the... Oh! Oh, that's how you do it. I thought it was just called Imp Dick for a second. Um, you light the mushroom up and then they attack, I guess. I love how its little tongue is just sort of hanging out and bouncing around. He's a really cool Pokemon. He has a really cool evolution. He's not actually that cool, but I don't think I'm going to train him. Here we go. Dusk Ball. Three shakes. We got him. Imp Dick was caught. Awesome. Impy Dimp. Impy Dimp. The Willy Pokemon. The Wily Pokemon. Imp Dick. The Willy Pokemon. <laughs> Through its nose, it sucks the emanations produced by people and Pokemon when they feel annoyed. It thrives off this negative energy. Good for you, Impy Dink. Good for you, Dicky Ficky Fripp. Good for you, Imp Dick. Good for you, fucking Dump Truck. Good for you, Dinkle Fuck. Would you like to give Dinkle Fuck a name? Yep, I'm gonna call him Imp Cock. Can I do that? All right, that looks good. Imp Cock was added to the box. Right on, brother. Is there anything, if we light all these mushrooms up, something cool happen? This place looks like an easy place to get lost. Am I back on Stowe side? Am I on the wrong side? This is where I went in, right? Okay, okay, it is. I was just making sure. I know where I am. It's all good. I just want to make sure I get every nook and cranny searched. I find all the items. I like to explore everything. And we have a, another wonder trade. Gonna check that out. Goodbye, Joe. You are being sent to Necro, if that's okay with you. Eevee! Awesome. His name is Evoli. Hello, Evoli. I love how other trainers actually name their Pokemon. Yep, you light up the mushroom and the imp attacks. Imp dick dead. Oh, his little eyes rattled around in his head. All right, enough pissing around. What happens if we go this way? We go this way, then we can go down this way. We can go around here and we've got the mushroom here that we can light up. Right, then we can head up here and it's all very, very dark. I'm just going to keep pressing A in case I find a mushroom. And that's how you get the bag of bright powder, which makes the opposing Pokemon lose some of its accuracy. That's a, quite an interesting item. And wait, no, this is an entirely different area. This was a normal, that is the area I thought it was. I'm so confused. What? What is that? Is that the middle version? It has three versions. It has to have three versions. I've never seen that either. All I know is it, it has a gigantic super buff one. Wow. Okay, interesting. Or is there a male and female version as well? I don't know. Cool, a Pokemon I haven't seen and wasn't spoiled for. I must catch it. Go, Dusk Ball. Dusk Balls are strong, boys. Uh, that one has not failed me yet in this forest. Morgrem was caught. All right, let's see what the Pokedex says. Morgrem, the devious Pokemon. When it gets down on all fours, as if to beg for forgiveness, it's trying to lure opponents in so that it can stab them in the back and kill them with a knife. It will then try to uproot and remove the opponent's bones. It will fashion these bones into more knives for future attacks on other opponents. Some Morgrim are known to have a collection between six and 10 bone knives. Man, that is scary. That's, I don't like the sound of that. I'm gonna call that one bone knife. Bone knife is being sent to the box. So I think we've explored all that left side of the forest. Now we can get 
on to doing this side. It's gonna heal up Coleman real quickly. Down this way, around the corner. Avoid that Pokemon. All right, let's do mystery trade. Surprise trade again. Getting rid of Berry Baby. And we'll check on Berry Baby when he gets traded. Up here, we've got so much to explore. Snort TM24, Snore. I guess we'll have to verse these trainers. Hello, boys. Hello, boy and girl. The railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. Yes, that's a train and a carriage. Great observation. You're so intelligent. All right, what do you got? Nine tails and curlier. Interesting. Check out my lizard and animated rock formation. Goodbye, nine tails, who is made of fire type and will be instantly killed. Farewell. Two levels up. Level 40 for Craig. Ow. Take this. Good battle, guys. All right, moving on. We've got another mushroom. Light this place up. It's not really doing much, honestly. Like, that's not really doing anything. All right, now we're gonna go left. We're gonna get this item. Two hyper potions, that'll come in handy. Ooh, secret item over here. Can't get up there. It's gonna be a drop down or on the other side. We will go verse this old lady. Hello, how are you? Some mushrooms react in interesting ways when you touch them. I bet mean, she's talking about her, her husband's girthy cock. Is that Hillary Clinton? I have some I have some information that will lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. What? All right, let's do something different and play some Willow Wisp because I never use this move is just going to inflict a burn and then let's do charge flame charge and then let's do flame charge again and then let's do flame charge again and and it's dead and she's sending out the ha oh, ha i'm gonna fall asleep here lady tar shot then i'm, I'm going, going to, to use, use flame, flame charge, charge. Thanks for the battle madams like me react in sad ways when we are defeated what is with everyone in this game threatening suicide? This is not the first time. Is that what's happening? Are you gonna go home and kill yourself, you old coot? You gonna go throw yourself off a fucking skyscraper? We react in sad ways when we're defeated and she's out here in the middle of the forest. That's already some sketchy shit. Someone should look out for her. Well, hopefully she just stands there for the next couple of hours and then goes home to bed. Ooh, there's a... Uh... Oh, that's what, that one's just going to attack as I walk past. Okay. I'm still very interested. Is this the evolved form of the little one? Or is this a weird gender variation or something? I'm going to cover it in my hot black sticky tar. And I'm going to flame charge it. These Pokemon are pretty strong. Level 38 in the wild? My god. That's going to be some good XP, I reckon. Goodbye, Morgrim. Chiron level up. Fred level up. When is Fred going to evolve? Surely soon. Do you have to evolve him in a special way? Nope, he's evolving now. I swear every time I say that is when they evolve. I had no idea. I'm very keen to see his two big top hats though. Producing all his smog. Oh! Such a cool design! So cool! Look at the green smog making up his beard and his mustache and his eyebrows! That is, that is an incredible Galarian design. It's gonna be one of the best. Your friend evolved into Weezing. Such a cool Galarian Pokemon. The Poison Gas Pokemon. Weezing! <coughs> Weezing. Oh god. Fuck. This Pokemon consumes <coughs> particles that contaminate the air. Instead of leaving droppings, it expels clean air. There you go, guys. Anytime you take a deep breath, in the Galarian region, you're inhaling wheezing piss and shit. That is literally, that's what's happening. You got, you're getting a big fat lung of wheezing piss and shit. It's filtered though. It's, it's not really, you know, that's cool. This Pokemon is good for the ecosystem. Good boy, wheezing. The environment thanks you. We will not be teaching you double hit though. You're still going in the box when I replace you. We have a luminous moss. Light up the area a little bit here. Oh, here's where we do our jump down. Is there any... Items to receive here. No, fog! Gonna head back up around. Gonna go up around this way. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna grab this item. What one is this? It is U-turn. Don't care. Any items up here? No. Jump down here. Any items here? Come on. There's gotta be an item here. I swear there was something. No. All right, we're heading up here. We've done enough searching in the forest. I think we've got mostly everything. We're heading out. 
Thank God, guys, we made it. Oh my God. Bolonia is awesome. Man, I thought the Cliffside Town was awesome. This is way better. That is so cool. And we've got a new gym. We'll be versing the new gym in the next episode, I think. Got all these different kinds of mushrooms. Little cool Pokemon there, more lol. And wow, this is really cool. They've boosted the creativity of this game. Frank. That's my granddad's name. Grand, grand, granddad's name. My granddad's name. I thought he said my grandma at the start. I was like, that is interesting. Hello, is this Frank? Fuck! Fuck a ga ga ga! Fuck! Fucker! Somebody lock Frank up. He's gone mad. All the mushroom spores have entered his bloodstream. Wait, what? What does he want to do? Scorbunny and Sizzlipede are different species, but they're both still Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlipede and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. I told you he's crazy. He's fucking nuts. What's he saying? What? You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. I'm not crazy. I'm creative. He's an artist too, so. I wanted to become a Pokemon once. He has definitely fucked Pokemon. Yeah, should I encourage this behavior? Yeah, you can be a Pokemon, mate. All good. Hey, I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. Okay, enough. Why? No, what's happening? Leave, leave me alone. God, these small country town folk, they're crazy. Woo, all right. We're trading off ba uh, Berry Baby. This is gonna be our last wonder trade of the episode. See who we get. We got a Ponyta. I can't remember if I have Galarian Ponyta. I don't think I do. Pokedex entry, yep, that means I don't have it. Here we go. Ponyta, the unique horn Pokemon. Its small horn hides a healing power. With a few rubs of this Pokemon's horn, any slight wound you have will be healed. Well, that sounds like everyone should have a Ponyta. Are they employing these things in the hospitals? Fuck Chansey off. Get a bunch of those around. Heal the boys. And we're gonna wind down. I might have a little bit of a search through the town. And let's play the lotto again. Can we play the lotto? Oh, we can. Number 59734. Yes, I think we've got a match. Congratulations. Uh, we've got one of the Asian ones. You've won the fourth tier prize. Another bottle of milk. I, I did just finish the last bottle I won. Good for your bones. I don't even think it's very good for your bones. I think that's propaganda. Bottle of Moo Moo Milk. Ooh, all right. We've got a bunch of Inkays floating around there. We've got a mushroom over here with an item, two big mushrooms. We've got a house to ransack. Ooh, you're living big. This is a bigger house than those city folk have. What's up, old man? Oh, you're looking for Frank. Oh, that'd be me. This is Frank. That's Granddad Frank. Oh, we have a letter for Frank. He's the one that abducts all the kids. The, the child sent him a letter and he has a lot of kids in his house now. This is nothing to be concerned about, I guess. Uh, now, who could be sending me letters? Ah, oh, yes, it's one of my children, Paula. <laughs> that does take me back, ages. Back when Paula was just one year old. Paula was the name of a girl I spent all my life with. Sorry, all my time with. Don't get any ideas. Frank, he's got a plutonic relationship with those kids. I won't have any rumors bringing Frank's reputation down. It looks like Frank has been looking after all these kids, giving them medicine, something like that. Good for you, Frank. How was she? Did she look well? Dear old Paula, dot, dot, dot. What? The quiet type, are you? Mouth got your tongue? <laughs> Get it, guys? Like cat got your tongue, except Meowth, because Meowth is the cat Pokemon. I reckon I ought to give you something for this. A gift you've brought. For you've brought me back a piece of my youth. Choice, choice scarf. A scarf that boosts speed. Thanks, Frank. Hello. You can tell me anything, young girl. Did Frank's... A good man, yeah? Don't worry, he's old. His hearing ain't what it used to be. He can, he can't hear us. I know he's in the same room, it's fine. Hey, don't interrupt our conversation. Okay, she's having a conversation with the wall. That's uh, a testament to Frank's parenting, I guess. Just joking, kids can do that. Enjoy your childhood kids. Have an imagination. She's probably got an imaginary friend. It's, it could be a ghost Pokemon for all I know. Opal's gym stadium is also a small theater. Opal has been a gym leader for a long, Long time. Opal is the old, old woman, right? Maybe that's Frank's lover. I don't know. All right. I mean, this absolute madman, the craziest guy I've ever seen in Pokemon is also loitering outside Frank's house. It's one of his colleagues or something. Yeah, I don't want to touch that. Let's see what's in this house. There's a Chin Chow on the roof. There's so many Pokemon here. Seems to be a lot of old people living here. Oh, look at you, defeated Stowan Sides gym leader, eh? You probably know your way around a TM like this one in that case. Yes, thank you, lady. TM77 Hex. 
This relentless attack does massive damage to a target affected by status conditions. That could be a nice combo. Hello. Evolution is a bit tricky for Pokemon trainers. If a Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger, but its appearance will change. Do you want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without evolving? Yes, tell me. Okay, I'll teach you while battling. Let's have a Pokemon battle. All right, that was unexpected. After this battle with Breeder Alina, I think we're going to call it quits, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. We're going to verse Dotler. All right, let's see how strong it is. Level 30. Yeah, yeah, it's our only Pokemon as well. Sorry, Dotler. Wow, okay. Yeah, Dotler's pretty strong. If that's super effective, yeah. Super effective, level 30. A shitty Dotler and it only did that much damage. She's trying to teach me something. She's going to tell me about some crazy items that she's just shoved into this thing. Probably riddled with infections. I think that Dotler might be a genetic mess. Bye-bye, Dotler. Is it gonna give me big XP? Nope, that doesn't seem that good. Level 39 for Coleman though. Nicholas, level 38. I didn't expect you to be able to breach Dotler's solidity. Yeah, you've solidified its brain. You've probably calcified its fucking frontal lobe. Even though my Dotler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I will give you that lady. The secret is this Eviolite. That stops Pokemon from evolving if you put it on them, I'm pretty sure. Mysterious evolutionary lump. When held by a Pokemon that can still evolve, it raises both defense and special defense. Ah, okay. If you let a Pokemon that can still evolve hold this Eviolite, that Pokemon's defense and special defense will go up. Yes, I just read that. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, guys. Um, there is the gym up ahead. We're going to dive into that in the next episode. I'm going to grab another item from here, a balm mushroom. A rare mushroom that gives off a nice fragrance. It can be sold for a high price. And then we have a little Chin Chow up there. We've got another Pokeball here. What is it? Rest. TM21. Epic. You'll have to speak up. I'm TM21-ing. 